Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android Application Development Tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about how to connect and configure a real Android device with Android Studio for debug your application. So you have to make some configuration on your device. Also you need to make some configuration on your computer for debugging your application on a real Android device. Ok, here I am going to configure my Samsung Galaxy S5 with Android Studio for the debugging purpose. So for enabling debugging on a real device, you need to enable the developer options on the device. So for enabling the developer options, go to the system settings, go to the settings of the device. Now find out the system settings or the device settings. Yeah, here it is. So if you are using, if the device is running on Android version 4.4 and above, the developer options are hidden. And if the device is running Android version lower than 4.4, then you can simply find out the developer options on the system settings. So this is a device which is running on Android KitKat 4.4. So I have to unhide the developer options first. So for unhide the developer options, click the about device options, this one, click this one. Okay, now you can find out the, you have to find out the build number, this one, the build number of the device. So for unhide the developer options, you need to, you need to press 7 times on the build number. So I hit first time, second time, third time. Now the ethos disappeared, you have to hit 4 more times to enable the developer options. So I hit again, now 3 steps remaining, hit again. Now two steps remaining, hit again, one step remaining. Yeah, now developer mode has been enabled for this device. Now back to settings again. Find out the system settings. Yeah, here it is. Now here you can see that now the developer options are available on the system settings. Okay, select the developer options. For enabling debugging, USB debugging, you have to select these options, USB debugging, tick these options, click OK. Yeah. Now you need to connect the device with a USB cable to your computer. So here I am going to connect this device to my computer through a USB cable. Yeah, now I connect the device with my USB cable. By default, the USB connection, this is connected as, now it is connected as camera. By default, every device connected as a media device, MTP. So for enabling debugging, you need to change it into P2P. So here, in this device, it is already selected as P2P. So you have to select the camera P2P options. Okay. Now we complete all the settings on our device. Now we have to make some configurations on our computer. Now you need to make some configuration on the computer. You have to install the Google USB driver. So for installing the Google USB driver, Go to your Android SDK folder. Open Android SDK folder. And open the SDK manager. And in SDK manager, find out the extras folder. Also find out the Google USB driver. You have to install the Google USB driver. So here, I already installed the driver. Okay, so after installing the Google USB driver, you can find out the Google USB driver on the extras folder. Inside the Google folder, there is a folder called the USB driver. This driver contain the Google USB driver. Okay, now open your control panel open control panel select hardware and sound option go to device manager ok 
okay in the device manager you can find out the device name on the other devices here it is Samsung Android that is my phone now I connect my phone through the USB cable with this computer also the connection type is camera P2P and you can find out the device name here Samsung Android now you have to attach the Google USB driver with this device for that right click the device and choose the update driver software option now select the second option browse my computer for driver software and you have to browse for the Google USB driver open your Android SDK folder go to the extras folder and select the Google folder also select the USB driver click OK also select include subfolders select this option and click next now this is an Android phone this is a Samsung Android phone some devices does not support the Google USB driver in that cases you need to find out the appropriate driver from the manufacturer website so here I use a Samsung Android phone so I have to go to the Samsung website for downloading appropriate USB driver also you can find out the correct USB driver from the Google website open your browser and type Android OEM USB drivers go to the first link from this website you can find out a number of links for different companies here I using a Samsung phone so I can find out appropriate version of driver for my device from this link from this website also you can find out all other company names here and you you can find out corresponding website links are here from these links you can find out you can download appropriate version of USB driver for your device okay so I already downloaded I already download the driver USB driver for my device here it is so now I have to install this driver so now I am going to install this driver okay now I am going to install the Samsung USB driver for my device click next click install okay now I successfully installed the USB driver software for my device now after installing the device software again open control panel go to the hardware and sound option go to device manager go to the device manager yeah so after installing the USB driver for your device you can see that now the device is not available in other devices instead you can see a new category is created with your device name so here I use a Samsung Android phone so a new category is created and Samsung Android phone so expand that category you can see that Samsung Android ADB interface that means now the USB driver is properly configured with the ADB Android debug bridge so now this device is available on your IDE that means Android Studio for the debugging purpose so we have to check a project on this real device so you have to start Android Studio now so I start Android Studio okay now you have to check whether the device is available in Android Studio for that you have to go to the tools and select Android and choose the Android device monitor so you can see now the phone is available on the Android device monitor here it is Samsung Galaxy okay so here I create a project so now there is no AVDs are available now I am not start any AVDs now the device is connected to my computer it is ready 
now here I am going to run this application so I click the run button now this application contain a message hello welcome to this demo application so now I run the application yeah now a new window is appear and here the device is Samsung my device serial number and this version here it is a serial number okay now I select the device click OK now we have to check the device whether the project is in running or not okay now you can see that now the application is running on a real device so you can see the application here yeah demo application now it is installed on the real device now I can run the application from my Android studio and is now it is available on my real device so I select the application you can see the output this is how we configure and connect a real Android device with Android studio or Eclipse I hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching see you in the next episode